Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In July 2019 I created a video titled Are We Close to Finding the Tomb of Queen Nefertiti in the Valley of the Kings? where I mentioned the news reported from May 2019 by the art newspaper about Italian researchers finding two anomalies in the Valley of the Kings and one of which could be the tomb of the elusive 18th dynasty queen. The anomalies are just 12 metres from the tomb of King Tutankhamun but were not thought to be attached. As the article stated, they could be man-made anomalies or they could be natural, but being close to King Tut's tomb and being on roughly the same north-south alignment, they certainly seem to look man-made. Two months later, and a story was published on the Egypt Independent explaining that a team of Egyptian and British archaeologists were carefully radar scanning the area, research that was being led by former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities Mamdou El Damati, and was scheduled to end at the end of last year. Well, this week, an article has been published by Nature who have seen the so far unpublished results of the radar scans which are reported on last year. They scan the anomalies that were found by the Italian team just 12 metres away from King Tut's resting place. And now that the work is complete, the early results are in. They have discovered a previously unknown corridor-like space shown here in blue, which is very different to another popular theory of other secret chambers that are shown here in pink. The corridor is a few metres away to the east, is at the same depth as Tutankhamun's burial chamber and runs parallel to the tomb's entrance corridor. So far though, there is no indication that the 2 metre high and 10 metre long corridor links up with King Tut's tomb. But being just metres away, it is close and it isn't impossible that they do intersect. Furthermore, unconnected tombs tend to be aligned at different angles, meaning this new find could well be part of the same structure. But, saying that, and it could be another tomb altogether, that was simply cut close by. Famous Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, another former antiquities minister, has waded in and says that using geophysical techniques to search for tombs in Egypt has previously raised false hopes and he argues that such work should not be pursued. He says that ground penetrating radar has never made any discovery at any site in Egypt. So, no the, merit. The, the radar showed anything? Because I don't believe in the radar. I have been using radar all my work. It never made any discovery. Thankfully, Mamdou El Damati, like many other scientists and archaeologists, disagrees. Interference from nearby air conditioning units meant that Eldermatis team were unable to collect definitive data for the area directly north of King Tut's burial chamber, so we don't know for sure if the corridor and the tomb link up. Eldermatis has applied to do further scans this year, using different equipment, which means we should be able to pin down the shape and location of the corridor-like void to just a few centimetres, and then we'll be able to see exactly where it leads to. So, could this space lead to the tomb of Queen Nefertiti? Well, it's possible, but it could also lead to the tomb of Queen Ankasanamun, the wife of Tutankhamun, whose tomb has also never been discovered. It could also house lost princesses, or could simply lead to more storerooms. At this stage, nobody knows for sure. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, Please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.